In this video I would like to discuss a little about curve fitting. So curve fitting it's when you are trying to adjust your strategy too much to follow all the market moves and uh, catch all the moves that you see uh, in the market. So this can happen from uh, various reasons. One of the reasons is because you think you have you don't have enough trades. So you can look at this you're on a daily chart and you can make a calculation and you think okay I do not have enough trades I need more trades because I want to make one million dollars until the end of the year or something like that so that's a very bad calculation so if you have ever read the books market wizards interviews with top traders in one of the books there is uh, one of the guys there I don't remember his name he was a forex trader and uh, he said that he lost about 50 million dollars when he started to use money and things in life as a, a reason for his next trade so he already had like five houses and he has seen a beautiful house and he was thinking okay the next trade on euro dollar it's going to be for that house so that was a big mistake because he lost 50 million dollars and this is there are a lot of psychological reasons why it's not a good idea to do this like to not become too greedy with the markets so if your strategy just gives you the trades that you see in back testing and those trades are profitable and uh, you have a good thing there that works just leave it as it is do a few modifications to it and see if you can improve it but you need to put a lot of work into that you need to put all the work so if I for example if I choose to backtest from the beginning of 2018 so let's say if I choose to backtest this market S&P from here to here so you see there are three years of data it's not that much honestly but it's enough to see if you have something with your strategy so there are Three years of data and let's say to this rex indicator i go and i modify this from 14 to 15 and that's it that's the only modification that i do well you need to go back to the beginning and back test again every trade every trade every trade every trade exactly as you did it before when this was 14 because if you don't do that that's how you will lose when you go in a day to day trading it's going to be late when you are going to observe that your strategy does not work anymore because you did a small modification that it's not profitable so you could see that in backtesting but you didn't do it so that's a form of curve fitting another form of curve fitting is to add too many indicators so you have too many options so for example if i add this macd indicator to the chart you can already see that this indicator has a lot of elements around here it has two lines and a histogram it's called but let's say i take out those lines i only leave the histogram and I change the inputs to 5, 25, 5, for example. And I want to use this also as an exit indicator in combination with the Rex indicator. So I'm going to say, okay, when this is uh, green, I'm good. When this turns red, I'm going to exit the strategy. And if you, if you see that, you, you will see, you will see that sometimes this takes you out later so you make less money and so on so this is called curve fitting so if you add another indicator on top of this all those three in combination they are going to take you even later so you can arrive in such a place that you go in at this price and it takes you out at the same price so you make zero money or who knows with a um, too many indicators and uh, if you start to add lines on the charts and you see i don't know other strategies you find on youtube maybe it will take you out on a loss and uh, you just do that several times and you lost a lot of money and now it's very difficult to 
recover those money and you are also hurt because you're hurt mentally because you lost those money so it's very important to avoid curve fitting like to avoid to squeeze every move from the market like if you if you go in here and you go out here and you made money that's enough just find another asset find another asset maybe you'll find that that will give you less trades than the s p markets maybe the s p markets will give you the best trades and other markets with a small modification so you don't put two indicators but you find out after a few rounds of back testing back and forward Maybe you find out that moving a few points onto this indicator or making this 2020 or 1010, maybe you find out that in a market like the United Kingdom index or Dow Jones, maybe you find out that in those markets it's going to take you out faster. So you maybe you find out that uh, this configuration here it gives you some profits, but if you modify a little this exit indicator. It improves the profits a little because that market moves differently. So you need to understand that the markets move differently. But don't try to squeeze everything. Just make it profitable. Just observe. Like you go in here, it takes you out here. That's good. That's great. So essentially the conclusion is that curve fitting is when you're trying to get the best entry and the best exit on a market. That's curve fitting. So you're going to do those all those indicators and strategies in such a way that they are going to take you in and out of the market and when you draw a line you see that you didn't make any profits or you lost a lot of money that's why simple is better so that's why simplicity is the best way in trading just use two indicators maybe you find another oscillator for your entries i do not recommend that but if you have a lot of free time and you like to backtest who knows maybe you'll find it there are 10,000 indicators in the internet right now i'm sure that there are 100 indicators in those 10,000s that are better than what you see here on the screen i'm sure because i know people who trade with uh, indicators like that they never told me what those indicators are but I know they are there and if you have the free time and the will you can find them if you put in the work because you need to backtest every which one of them otherwise if you don't have that time if you don't want to do it just use this backtest this on all the assets that you want and I can promise you you will find profitability see you in the next video